Welcome Aquarius and Glass Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means for you this could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, you should check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the collective Aquarius. What is going on here, please, for the collective? You definitely could be thinking about or dealing with a fellow air sign or a Virgo. SF Pisces Cancer here. Scorpio energy, Leo. I mean, could be any sign. The sun, the three of swords, the page of, of wands, okay, with the eight of swords, the Eight of Cups in Reverse, and the Four of Cups. Someone's feeling really disappointed. It's like someone... Okay, I feel like for some of you, you might have been told by someone they were going to make some kind of change. And so then you tried to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, and then it ended up that this person did not leave or did not move or did not change. They stayed stuck, they stayed put, and you felt rejected, you felt disappointed. Maybe they're saying they didn't want to, you know... They didn't know how to go through with a divorce, an ending, a change. Maybe family or religion came into play. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I mean, this is collective. So, I mean, this could resonate for 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 more, right? But some kind of insight came to you where you may have found that this person was involved with someone else. They were trying to flirt with you, communicate with you, but saying stuck. Making all these promises, but they were empty promises. They didn't follow through. So things came to an end, things came to a close. I feel like you've moved away from a situation. You're like, you know, I can't keep doing this. You know, we're not going to be doing this. You put your foot down. You were like, no, it's over. It's done. Now this person, Aquarius, they're still thinking about you. They still want to reconnect with you. For some of you, they may even be trying to tell you the same things they were telling you in the past when they were saying, oh, I'm going to leave or I'm going to make this change or X, Y, and Z is going to happen, but it didn't. And so now you're hearing all these things and you're getting nervous. Like, can I trust this? I mean, it sounds great. It sounds perfect. It sounds, but, you know, I, I've heard these things before is what I'm getting. Okay. I want to be courageous enough to let you close. The thought of truly losing you terrifies me. I'm reminded of you constantly. This is more than just physical. I close my eyes and imagine you are here with me. You inspire me to become a better version of myself. This person does not want to let you go, Aquarius. All they do is sit around and think about you, trying to manifest you back, trying to think up ways they can win you back, win back your trust. But you are really clear. Okay, male or female does not matter. This is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You were like, no, point blank. We're, we're not doing this. We're not backtracking. I'm moving away. You have, you know, failed to keep your promises one too many times. You know, I tried to be patient. I tried to be understanding. Now there's this energy here with this hermit of a lot of like introspection. And I think that you've kind of taken this time apart in separation to really kind of analyze your past together, your present, where have we been, where are things now, and where is this potentially headed, if anywhere. And you've kind of put together this pattern, this recognition of kind of what's happened between you and this person. You felt a really strong connection to this person. But you may have even felt they were a bit secretive about their life with you. They weren't telling you everything. You felt there was still so much you didn't know. And if you're trying to trust them and trying to build and trying to be patient, you need to know these things. You know, what is going on with them? I mean, they're saying that this is more than just physical for them. And they are trying to be a better person and show you that. They're scared to lose you. But they weren't courageous enough. They weren't brave enough to tell you the entirety of their situation. They left out important details, bits and pieces, things that you needed to understand, you needed to know, especially if you're going to be willing to give them another chance. You don't want to be deceived.
I feel like there's just too many secrets in the past. That's the, that's the thing. And you don't want this to be a secret connection. You want this to be out in public. You want to be able to trust your feelings, your senses, and for your person to do the same. But in order for that to really be, you know, able to happen, they have to tell you. They have to open up to you. I think there is a desire for happiness. And there was a part of you that really hoped that things could progress or move forward. Or something would be offered. Celebrations, announcements, you know, engagement, movement forward. There's still potential here. And I think that you know that. But there's hesitation. There's guardedness, carefulness. Because you know that this person's... You know... You can sense, you can feel that this person's not done with this connection, not done with you. You're very careful and uncertain if you want to fully let this person get close to you again because you don't want to be misled, you don't want to be let on. Now I am seeing you in this energy with this Ten of Cups of really just focus on yourself, your own personal happiness. Some of you might have even found new love or are working on building something for yourself. Some of you could see your person as someone who is still invested in something else. That's just be for a handful of you, though. Like, if this person was involved with another person, you could see that that is still possibly there, that maybe this person hasn't, you know, in, um, fully made a change. And that's part of why you're so careful, why you're so cautious here. But you really do. You want to be happy. And there's a part of you that does still feel there's a chance for you and this person to come together. You may still feel spiritually connected to this person. Even when they're not physically there around you, you kind of sense and feel their energy. A lot of times, Two of Cups can even talk about telepathy or shared dreams. Visiting each other, seeing each other, sensing those energies. Friendship, love. There's a desire to come together, clear the air, express, exchange feelings and emotions. But there's that fear that maybe that's all that this can be. Will this person make a change? I do feel like with the death card, this is about rebirth and transformation. But this person is trying to end the cycle and come towards you with clarity. Knowing they've broke your heart. You're, you're just very, very hesitant, very careful, very held back. You don't want to be deceived. What do you need to know, see, sense, feel, and understand in regards to this connection? Tell us, please, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know, see, sense, feel, or understand in regards to this connection, please? Okay. Yeah, we have sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, and working on it with hammer. We have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. And we have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. So this is the thing. <clears throat> and we have the runner under here. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, or listening to ego. Your person ran from this connection. They... You had to distance yourself because they were not consistent. They were not, you know, following through on their promises. You gave so much time, energy, love to this person, and it wasn't reciprocated, not in the ways you needed it to be. And you were tired of waiting for this person, so you're distancing yourself, tired of kind of continuously working on something that wasn't moving forward. For some of you, you've actually met new love, okay? And, you know, you're happy trying to work on that, but this person still does pull at your heartstrings. For others of you, however, I feel like, you do still feel a genuine connection with this person and you knew they would come back around. You were hoping that either this person would truly mean what they say or that you'd be strong enough to resist because of how you know intense that connection is. But this person really, really hurt you. But you cannot shake this feeling, this connection that you share with this person. This person still wants to make it work to you. So you're, you're confronted with a choice here. Because now this person's coming in, saying all the right things, making you feel good, telling you things are going to change for good, for the better between the two of you, if you're willing to give them a chance. I mean, this person is saying, the thought of truly losing you terrifies me. So what is it that I have to do? I mean, obviously, I have to become a better version of myself. You know, I have to, you know, let you get close. I have to open up to you emotionally. I do feel this person is trying to change and trying to show this change, but you are still careful. You're still guarded because it's taking you so long to kind of heal and recover from the past and all these past hurts and disappointments. It's like you want so much for this to work, for this to be real. And I do feel this person means it when they say they're trying to change, you know, but you have free will. It is your choice. It is your decision. No one can make it for you. This person wants to revisit things with you, and they're telling you that things are going to change for good, for the better. And it's going to be up to you whether or not you want to try again. So that is what I have for y'all. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.